All right, guys, I just got in from metal detecting, and it's uh, about 722. I stayed out a lot longer than I thought I was going to only stay out for about an hour, and it ended up like five and a half hours, so if I include all day. Uh, I definitely got silver in the pouch. Um, I don't know exactly what it is. I mean, I know it's a water nickel, so I'll let the cat out of the bag. But I don't know what year. Not that it makes a difference on a water nickel, but... Um, I got some wee pennies. I have no idea what years those are. Some of the fun about height hunting in the dark is you don't exactly know what you got until you get home. So, now I know I got that baby. And that is a butterfly pendant. Don't see a mark or anything, so it's probably just junk. Put a little water here to clean stuff up. And uh, that's not, that's just clad nickel. So I, uh, okay. So I was, uh, I went to where I seen a uh, backhoe digging, and uh, it tore down a house actually. And the problem was, I thought I was going to dig right there, but there was a foundation, and they didn't move the foundation, and it was all cement. So, but I did go into the front of the house, where the house used to be, in the front porch steps. You're the only thing standing, and I went around, went around there, and uh, I started getting a couple wee pennies. So it was pretty soft up there; it wasn't frozen. When I got too close to the sidewalk, it would be frozen. Come on! Oh, let's see here. Memorial, Memorial, Memorial. Stinking Lincoln. There's an old shotgun shell. Hmm. And that goes into junk. There's another old shotgun shell. Those always ring up about a 67 on the AT Pro. My hands are still cold. My knees are frozen. Hey, come on, would you? You gotta be back there. So there's my first weedy out of that. I know I got about three or four. And it is a... Nineteen fifty. Nineteen fifty D. Get get. And there's another weedy. Good, come on. Anybody want a cat? <laughs> He's a piece, man. You guys are driving me nuts. It's going to be a long winter. Alright, and the second weedy is a 1952. There's a weedy. Mm, 
This one's cloudy. Nineteen forty five. The back looks good on this. The front though looks needs work. I think I it'll clean up though. Mm-hmm. And I'm seeing a war nickel in my hand. Stephen Lincoln. Right there, because I did rub it enough to see the P on the top. I don't know what year it is, though. Now the back wasn't that sandy, that comes from the pouch. I can see the back there, but the front looks pretty much like I did when I got out of the ground. Let's see if I can rinse it off now. Let's see what I got. The front looks a little yellow. It's weird. Usually they come out better than that. And it is a nineteen forty three P. Now you see where I rub that out in the field, how shiny that is. That's, I don't want to rub this like that. I'm gonna use a little cotton. But it'll come out shiny though. It'll look like brand freaking new when I'm done with it. So sweet. That I thought I was all done getting silver for the year, so I'm very happy about that. And there's another wheat penny. And it is a um, come on, hit me with a nineteen oh nine. Hit me. Nineteen forty two. Stinking Lincoln. That might be about it there. Mm. Now you can see in the pouch, I think, if you can, there's plenty of junk. This stuff comes at a price of a lot of digging and a lot of shit. So, what the hell that is? It looks like a something. It's something. It's a thingamabob. Could be it. I don't know. I don't like it though. That. This could have been the the die cut for all the coins in the world. No, right? That's what's left after they cut the coins. Circus. And a big glob of silver. I'd like to say. So there's a lot of junk in there, not to mention about 50 pull tabs. Alright. Oh, there's another weedy. So I got five wheat. Oops, dropped it. Got five wheats and some clad and a butterfly. Pendant, 1945, and let's see, the prize of the day, 1943, all right, that's it, thanks for watching, bye.